Okay, so I'm here in a brand new game of Stardew Valley, and every time you make a new game, it resets your settings. So what I was going to talk to you about today is the settings and how we can kind of make those better for us. Um, so let's go outside here. So you'll notice that you can't really see very much stuff, but if you go into here and change a few things, you can. Um, I always turn this on, always show hit location, so if I don't do that right now, sometimes, you know, it's not very intuitive where I'm going to hit. You know, so if you turn that on, it helps you learn how the game does that. So there's this little red square, you know, whatever, you, you get my point. Um, yeah. So this is very helpful, especially for new players. It helps you figure out like how your tool is targeting. Like see if I didn't turn this on, I wouldn't know that I can't I don't know. You you just know what square that you're on all the time. Very useful. Okay, so there's that one. I would always have that on. Seriously, it's amazing. Um, next one I turn this on, I don't know. Show advanced crafting information. Chances are, if you're not a speedrunner at this game, or unless you've been playing it for years, you don't really know everything out there, so more information, never a bad thing. Um, the next one, I like to lock the toolbar. Um, just so it's not moving around all the time. Um, and then, this is the other thing that I think is a must. You put the zoom buttons so that you have zoom in and out right over here, and then you zoom all the way out. Because look how much more you can see. This is the biggest one. This is the most important thing, I think. Oh, that's really it. Those are the settings that I think are really, really important. So, I don't know. Hopefully, others agree. If not, then. I guess you can just let me know in the comments. Sorry, not the uh, greatest video. Pretty short and to the point, but that's kind of how I like my videos. Anyway, thank you. Like, subscribe, and come back for more sometime.